Psalm 73 verse 26 says, My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Other translations say, But God is the rock and strength of my heart and my portion forever. I thank God for scriptures like these, because just like me, I'm sure each of us, when we've gone through certain things in life, when we've faced difficulties or challenges, if you're anything like me, then you've gone through that situation trying to figure out exactly how will this work out for my good. We as people often want all of the details. We often want to know, Lord, if you're going to make a way out for me, how exactly are you going to do it? At precisely what time will you come to be my rescue? How long will I have to go through this before things actually start turning around for my good? And we do this because naturally as people, we don't want our flesh or our heart to fail. We instead want to be strong, to be able. However, the mistake in wanting to know all of the details and the mistake in wanting to be strong and able is that you are relying on yourself instead of Jesus Christ. The emphasis should be on the Lord, not on you knowing everything. Trusting in the Lord means that I may not know all of the details, but one thing that I do know is that my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. I may not understand everything, things may not make sense, but I do know that my heart and my flesh may fail, but God is the rock and strength of my heart and portion forever. Think of it as though you are on a boat, and on this boat, you are on the wave called life. This wave has its ups and downs. There are moments where the sun is out and everything is peaceful. However, there are other moments where you encounter a storm. Now, during a storm, the unfortunate thing with many believers is that we become so fixated on the rain, on the thunder and lightning, that we forget who's on the boat with us. We forget that the one who is on the boat with us will never fail. We often forget during a storm that God is the strength of our hearts and our portion forever. And so I would like to encourage you to change your mindset, shift your perspective and activate your faith. You may not have all the answers. In fact, you may have more questions than answers, but hold on to Psalm 73 verse 26. This is the only answer you need because the Bible says, my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Let God be your strength. Let him be the calm in your storm. Let him be the peace in your heart. Now let us pray. Lord Jesus, May you get all the glory in my life. Teach me to be more patient. Teach me, Lord, to be more reliant and trusting in you. I believe that when I face difficulties and when I face challenges in life, you will be my rescue. I believe that when I am in deep waters, you will stay true to your word in Isaiah 43 verse 2, which says, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, 
they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. Holy Spirit, help me and teach me so that before I go anywhere else searching for solutions, before I look anywhere else for answers, let me seek the counsel of the Lord. Let me search the word of God first, because in Jesus I have a God who moves mountains and speaks calm to every storm. In Jesus I have a God who performs miracles, a God who can make a way where there seems to be no way. Lord, your word says in Psalm 73, verse 27 to 28, For behold, those who are far from you shall perish. You put an end to everyone who is unfaithful to you. But for me, it is good to be near God. I have made the Lord God my refuge, that I may tell of all your works. Lord, it is good for me to draw near to you. It's good for me to make you my refuge, because in you I will find strength. In you I will find preservation and comfort. So I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that I am equipped with everything I need to survive this storm. Lord Jesus, you will never give me more than I can bear, and you have already made a way to victory available to me. So I declare that in the name of Jesus Christ, I am more than a conqueror. I will overcome this test, this difficulty, or this trial in my life. Although my physical eyes might not see it yet, I believe that in you, Lord Jesus, I will have victory. Although my heart and flesh may fail, I declare God's word which says that I have overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of my testimony. I confess and declare that there is power in the blood of Jesus. And so I ask, Father, that you go before me, Lord. Although I may face things that leave me with more questions than answers, I will continue to look to you. A God who has said in Deuteronomy 31 verse 8, it is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. Lord Jesus, I will continue to trust in you, to trust in your word. Your will is divine and it overrules my own will. Your plans are just and they are better than anything I could ever imagine. And so I bless your name. I relinquish all control and give you the glory, honor and praise forevermore. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen.